The saga of freshman Congressman George Santos continued today as the man accused of lying about everything from his finances to his work experience landed back in New York amid growing calls for his resignation. I got artists. I went. Whee! Congressman George Santos heckled by someone at LaGuardia Airport where he landed this afternoon before being hammered with questions over his increasingly checkered past and claims he's been hiding out in D.C. to avoid his constituents. And I have spoken with the voters. I've been in district the whole week. I've been taking constituent calls. I've received federal grant applications for projects in the district. And I look forward to serving the people. Santos never broke stride as he was followed by a gaggle of reporters deflecting and dodging. Oh. Was your mother at the World Trade Center on 9 11. Look, look, this isn't how you conduct an, uh, an interview. Santos refused to answer questions about whether his mother was inside the World Trade Center during 9 11, a story the congressman has repeatedly told, and one which a researcher told us isn't possible. She was in Brazil for years before and after, so she could not have been in New York on 9 11. It's just one more lie on top of all the other lies, but this is somehow. That much more significant because it's in, for New York, it's a seminal event. In a week of extreme ups and downs, Santos had his Twitter account suspended and had to deny claims he stole thousands of dollars meant for a veteran's dying service dog. On the other hand, Santos was just approved to two House committees and reportedly has the backing of House leadership. State Assemblyman Charles Levine also governs in Santos's district. It's heartbreaking. This is just a complete exercise in cynicism. He is their Frankenstein. He is their creation. We now have to figure out how to exist with him. In one of his latest tweets, Santos posted about immigration and claimed Democrats don't want to fix it.